What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to create a simple portrait illustration of Naruto. Let's begin today's lesson on the bottom of our page and draw two circles for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. We start from the very top of our circle, come all the way down towards the bottom, and bring that back up towards the top. Now we want to leave a large gap in between the eyes and draw the same size circle on the right. So I'll line up the top over on the right side, come down towards the same height, and then back up towards the top. Now I'm going to add a small highlight circle along the top of each eye, coming in. And then in the center of the eye, I'm going to draw a small circle for the pupil tucked in underneath the highlight. So let's start on the bottom left, draw that circle going all the way around and then up, and we'll fill that in black. Now with the eyes in place, let's draw on the upper eyelid. Starting from the top, it's going to bend this in and then down on both sides. Let's bend the top of the eyelid. Start from the top of the eye, it's going to bend this up and then come down on the ends. Now from the corner of the eyelid, we're just going to bend this down and just pull that in just underneath the eyes. Draw a straight line coming in along the bottom of the eyes. And then from here we move to the center, step down and add in the nostrils. Let's leave a gap in the center, start on the left. Draw a short angle line going up and out, go in towards the right and do the same thing. And directly underneath the nostrils we're going to add a slight curve for the mouth. We're going to go up and then down. And we just want to curl up the corners of the mouth. Go back to the center, step down, draw a short line going across the lower lip. Now you go back up and draw the bottom edge of the headband just on top of the eyes. Let's start all the way over on the left side. I'm just going to bend this down in the middle, go across, and then up. Now with the edge of the headband in place, we're going to draw the eyebrows tucked in underneath. I'm going to start directly above the left eye, bend this down, and then in. Let's line this up on the right out and then up. Let's curl the inside of the brow going in and then up on either side. Let's add some thickness to the eyebrow. From the top we're going to step in, bend this down, just taper it towards the inside of the brow. And do the same thing on the right. Now let's draw on the outside of the head. From the outside of the headband we're going to step in, bend the head, coming down, Right up the cheek and then in towards the jaw. Let's go to the top right, step in, come down, and then bend that in towards the same height. Now I want to round up the jaw, bring this down, and then in towards the chin. Let's round up the chin, go across, and then round up the right jaw. Let's add those scars across the cheeks. We're gonna start on the left side, bend this up and in, and line it up on the right. Step down, add another curve, going up and in. Step down, and let's add one more, going up around the corners of the mouth. Let's add some hair along the side of the head. On the outside of the headband, we'll step in, bend this down, and then in towards the side. Now before we go any further, let's go back and add some thickness to the upper eyelid. We're going to start from the top corner, I'm just going to add some thickness going in underneath the eyebrow, and just taper this down along the side. I'm going to do the same thing on the right. Now I'm going to place the ears along the side of the head. Let's start from the top of the hair, bend this up and out, round up the ear, come down and in, bend this down towards the head and curl this up along the side of the ear. Do the same thing on the right. Coming down, bend this in towards the earlobe, and bend that up. Now I'm gonna add those folds inside the ear. Start from the side of the hair, going up and out. From the top, step back, curve up around the ear, and then in. Let's add another curve along the inside of the ear, bend this out, and then in. 
Now we're going to work our way up along the side of the headband. Let's start on top of the ear. I'm just going to add a curve going out and in for a fold. Let's add another curve. Then it's out and then in. Let's add that hair on top of the headband. Starting from this point, then it's down and in on either side. Then I'll bend this up and then in. Let's draw the top edge of the headband in behind the hair. So from the top, I'm going to step down, bend this up, and then down on the right side. Now I'm going to add that metal plate in the center. Let's start on the left side. Just trace that curve. Going across, and then down. Step down, step up, and trace out the bottom. Now it's going to connect the top and bottom with a curve. Going out, and then in. I want to add three rivets on either side. Let's start from the corners, adding a small circle. And I'll add one more in between along the side. Now I'm going to add that symbol in the center. From the top, step over towards the right. We're going to add a swirl. Start by drawing a circle going all the way around. I'm just going to pull this in and then up towards the right. Let's go back up to the top, draw a short angle line going up and out. Now from the top left side, angle down towards the bottom, and then pull that in towards the bottom of that swirl. Now from here, we want to add those spikes going all the way around the head. Let's start from the side of the headband, start with a straight angle line coming down and out, go up and then in. Let's mirror that over on the right. Move down and out, go up and back in. Now I want to continue to add these spikes going from left to right to help balance this out. So start again going out, back in, I'm just going to angle this one up towards the left, and pull that in. Now I want to start to bring the spikes going up in the middle, so angle this up, and back, Another larger one, and one big one in the middle. Now I'm going to add a couple more over on the right side, going up and out, and back in. Just close this off with one more spike. Now that we complete the head, let's move down and draw on the collar. We start right in the middle, just underneath the chin, we draw two lines. One coming down on the left, move over, draw one coming down on the right. Let's close off the top with a straight line, and we'll close off the bottom. Let's add some texture inside that zipper with a series of lines going across. Now you want to add that centerpiece on either side of the zipper. Let's start from the top left, bend this up, and then out on either side and it'll come straight down towards the bottom. Let's round out the bottom coming down and in towards the bottom corners of the zipper. Now with the top edge of the collar we're going to draw a series of curves going up and around the jaw. So let's start from the top left, draw one curve. I'm going to start to bend this up towards the jaw to right about there. Let's do the same thing on the right. Just adding a series of small curves going up towards the jaw. Let's draw on the side of the neck, starting on the left, then this down, and then out in behind the collar. Now I'm also going to add some hair along the side of the jaw, starting underneath the ear, coming down and out, go up underneath the head. Let's add one more point, coming down and in, and then pull that up. Now let's go underneath the earlobes, add some curves going out and then down. Just want to do that three times. And then from the side, draw a straight line coming down towards the bottom of the collar. Let's close off the bottom of the collar with a curve. Start from the 
the outside, just bending that in. Now you want to add a textured line coming down from each of these points, just coming down about halfway, to right about there. Move over and just work our way towards the outside. And then on this one, we're just going to round this out and come down. Let's do the same thing on the right. And then we'll close the fold along the outside. Bend this in and then down. And add one more curve along the inside. Now that's sign of art and add a splash of color, and that's pretty much it. There's a portrait illustration of Naruto. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to draw more characters like this, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.